Hello, everybody. Good Friday night to you, and welcome to March Madness High School style. And it's madness that the Clements Rangers are in the Sweet 16 of the Class 6A boys playoffs, but let's just enjoy the crazy madness while we can. This is VibeFortBend.com. I'm Roger Smith here at the Berry Center in Cyfair ISD as the Rangers take on the Atascacita Eagles. And that game will be starting in a little more than 15 minutes, and it's time to bring you the Countdown to Tip-Off show. We'll talk about what got the teams here and why Atascacita, even though they went to the state tournament in San Antonio last year, they are very, very different here in 2022. Our VibeFortBend.com exclusive broadcast of Clements Rangers basketball in the state Sweet 16 is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tire and Auto, four great Fort Bend County locations. You can get the best prices on tires, the best service, anything that your vehicle needs to run at its very best. And all four of them are open Monday through Saturday. Visit FirstTireAndAuto.com, especially the one on Lexington Boulevard just down the street from Clements. By Archer Volkswagen, open since 1956 and ready to serve you. Archer Volkswagen is on Highway 59 South, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway, and you will feel like family at Archer Volkswagen. And by the Needville Insurance Agency, put hundreds of dollars back in your pocket when Bradley Stavano and the Needville Insurance Agency team, uh, they're going to shop all those insurance carriers and find the very lowest premium for you. You don't even have to leave your house. Call Bradley Stavano and he'll save you money on your car or your home or both. Call 28, I'm um, sorry, call 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. The Atascacita Eagles are the visiting team tonight and we will talk to their head coach David Martinez when we return on the vipefortben.com countdown to tip-off show. Clements and Atascacita coming your way in just a couple of minutes right after this. My Friday nights usually spent out, but since my friends got Xfinity Internet, Friday nights in are where it's at. Because Xfinity has Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power a house full of connected devices all at once. We got our show streaming, playlists bumping, and games galore. That's gig speed Wi-Fi for every great night in. Can your internet do that? Come on, y'all. The coasters aren't just for decoration. Now through March 7th, ask how to get a special offer of $200 back when you get GigSpeed Internet. Or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New Connect 50 megabits per second internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and X5 gateway. Actual speeds vary. Welcome back to the Countdown to Tip-Off show. It's Atascacita and Clements in just a few minutes here on VitefortBend.com. And it's time to talk to David Martinez, whose team went to the state tournament last year and got another win over Dawson, just as they did in the 2021 tournament. So welcome, Coach. And what is different about the team that you had last year that you'll put on the court tonight against Clements? Uh, you know, last year's team, they were slightly different. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, we had a little bit more length and a little bit more experience. This year we do have seven guys back from that uh, that team. However, no starters, but, but they were significant role players. They played quality minutes, and um, they just picked up right where that group left off. What's the best way to characterize the style that you play now? Is it uh, a little bit less attack the rack? Uh, what type of style is it? No, I still think we attack the rack pretty good. Uh, the best way to, to describe this team would be unselfish. This is probably one of the most unselfish teams that I've coached. Last year's team was unselfish as well, but uh, this it sticks out with this team. I mean, they're really good at making the extra pass, uh, passing up a good shot for a better shot. Uh, you know, they're, they're fun to watch and fun to coach. They play hard. They fly right on defense. The defense is the same. We're, we're always going to play tough defense, and uh, this group does it just that. We're very familiar with the high quality of the teams that you've had. You've, you've, you've eliminated your share of Fort Bend ISD teams from playoffs in the past, but we haven't seen Clements in the playoffs period, let alone in the fourth round. 
What have you learned about them, and what's the most important thing that you must do? Well, first thing is they're very well coached. Um, they're very patient in their offense. They run a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, our kids just got to stay locked in and focused and, you know, make sure we're not giving up easy buckets. You know, my hat's off to Coach Price over at Clements. Um, he's got a really good team. He's got some guys there that can shoot it. Um, they run some really good stuff. And uh, we just we can't fall asleep. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep our head on a, on a swivel. All right, Coach David Martinez, we really appreciate your time, and we know whether it's football, baseball, or basketball, we're gonna have a great playoff matchup when it's Atascacita against one of our Fort Bend teams. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with more of the countdown to tip-off show, and we will talk with Hemsey Price, whose team has made everybody at Clements just so excited, and you can't blame them. It's really rarefied air for the Rangers as they move into the regional semifinals. And we'll be back with Coach Price right after this on VipeFortBend.com. Our coverage brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tyrant Automotive with four great locations, including the one on Lexington Boulevard in First Colony, not too far from Clements High School. We're also brought to you by Archer Volkswagen and the Needville Insurance Agency. Roger Smith with you from the Berry Center. Stick with us. This is VitefordBend.com. First Tire and Auto congratulates the Clemens Rangers boys basketball team with the big tire sale. Buy three and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the Clemens fans as we cheer on these student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Go Rangers! Firsttireandauto.com Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome inside the Rockin' Berry Center. It's the Clements Rangers in the regional semifinals. Tonight, they have a tough matchup against Atascacita, but I'm certain that Coach Hemsey Price and his boys are ready. What are some of the things that you emphasized since the win on Tuesday night to get ready for this one? Um, well, one, get rest, um, get properly hydrated, stuff like that. Um, and then, two, just from a basketball standpoint, just um, realizing that the game's going to be fast and you're going to have to make plays, make layups, and take care of the ball because we're expecting them to come out and trap and, and run and jump and stuff like that to try to create an uncomfortable tempo. I know that before you played the game on Tuesday night, you got with Darren Johnson, Ridge Points coach, because his team faced Made Creek, and I'm sure that a lot of the things that he told you helped you out a lot. So last year, Atascacita eliminated Ridge Point last year. Did you go back to Coach Johnson and ask him anything about some of the players that are still on Atascacita? No. Uh, one, they don't have a lot of those guys back. They graduated a lot of guys. And so, uh, although they brought back two uh, marquee guys, um, I, I didn't – I didn't contact him on those. I contacted some other coaches that had played them previously just to, you know, just kind of get a feel for what they do and strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that. But, you know, at, at this point of the year, everybody's getting film on everybody, and so nothing is top secret. Also, at this point of the year, when you're still playing, it's something to be enjoyed, something to be celebrated. But I also know that you kind of have to calm your guys down and say, we got another game to get ready for. We don't want to just say, well, this is great. We won the third round game, and we're we're in the fourth round. I know that's not enough. What's it been like, that? And having said that, what's it been like on the campus? I know there's a buzz about your team, and everybody's very excited. Yeah, there's definitely a buzz around the campus and the community. Uh, just about the success and and but you're right the one thing that our kids are doing they're taking it in they're having fun um, you know I, I don't think they're like coach we don't want this to be our last game kind of deal I think they're just really just focusing on what they need to do to play well versus you know versus losing who's the priority on at Atascacita 
the guy that you have to stop if you can kind of at least neutralize him a little bit that might be able to put you over the top in this one? Well, I mean, it'd be easy to say number four, but they're a very well-coached team. Uh, they run a good system on offense. They don't rely on ISO ball or anything like that. A lot of their scoring comes from their offensive systems, and so we really can't just key on anybody because if we key on, on one person, then maybe we leave somebody else open. And so it, it has to be a collective uh, defensive effort. We're with Hemsey Price, and one more question for you. It's been really remarkable that your team has been playing so many games where the final margin has been single digits. Have you ever been a part of a season where so many games consecutive, and not all of them are games that you've won, but most of them are, where it's been that close, game in, game out? Yeah, um, the district that I came from, you know, it was a really tough district as well, and so we had a lot of games that were pretty close, and a lot of them were blowouts, but uh, when you play good teams, you're not going to have large margins of victory, and so uh, I've come to grips with that. Our kids have as well, and I'm just glad we're on the positive end of those close outcomes. Well, Coach, I want to say thank you. Uh, it was great to watch your team win, but I love those moments of joy. When you came over to the, the Clements fans and you go up in the stands and you hug your lady and your child, it's just a beautiful thing, and just to see the entire community so happy. I want to thank you for that. It would be great if you could give us another one of those moments tonight. Well, we're, I hope we can. I, uh, if, we, if we win, I'll be hugging some more. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Best of luck tonight. Thank you, Roger. All right. We'll continue and bring you the opening tip-off of the game between Atascacy and Clements. This is VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgig. The teams are still warming up here inside the Berry Center, and let's give you some more info on these two. Number nine, Atascacita, 32 and 6, coming in there in the Region 3 6A semifinals for a second straight season. They played in the state semifinals last year and lost to Austin Westlake, and Westlake then turned around and lost to Duncanville in the state finals. To get here, they beat number 14, Pearland Dawson, 62 to 50. That was Tuesday night in the regional quarterfinal in Pasigit Dandina. They also beat Dawson last year in the same round, 55 to 54. So Atascacita has shown an amazing, um, amazing ability to come back strong. They were down 36-34 going into the fourth quarter against Dawson, but they outscored the other Eagles, 28 to 14 in the final eight minutes and. It was a tougher game than the final score suggests, but it's really scary to think of how deep Atascacita is and how they can have so much left in the tank late in the game. They're taking on a Clements team that uses six players in most games. In fact, the Clements theme could be a few good men because they only suit up nine players. So back to Atascacita, though. They started that fourth quarter on an 8-1 run. They had three pointers from Angel Johnson and Kane Ortiz. By the way... Uh, that's a mistake. Kanye Ortiz and then Caleb Pouncey, who is one of the few players that played a lot last year. He wasn't a starter in 2021, but he scored a layup that put a task seat up 42-37. And then Angel Ungst, that is the number four that Coach Hemsey Price was talking about in our interview. He knocked down consecutive three-pointers. That put a task seat up 48-40. And that's that really... Um, 
Dawson was never able to get any closer after that. So the Rangers and Atascacita have something in common, and that is that they seem to play really clutch basketball late. So the Rangers are 28-9. and nine. They had gone six straight seasons without a playoff berth, and the seniors on the Clements team this year were in fifth grade the last time the Rangers were in the playoffs. In that regional quarterfinal win over Maid Creek, they twailed, uh, trailed 25-22 to 22 at the half. They started the third on a 10-2 run over a span of five minutes. The game was tied 37-all with four minutes left, and the Rangers ended the game with a 12-5 run. They won 49-42. to 42. Divine Ugo Chukwu, 22 points, 10 of those in the fourth quarter, and Abdullah Alajuwon, 16 points, and he had four blocks. They were money in crunch time in the last three and a half menser, uh, minutes. The Rangers outscored Maid Creek six to nothing with one harmless turnover. It was a traveling call with 11 seconds left. And 15 of their 28 wins this year have come by single digits. They've gone 10 straight games with a final spread of nine or less. And they are only averaging allowed 47.2 points per game. And you know, that is a winning formula most of the time when you can shut down the other team. We'll be back with the starting lineups and get this one going from the Berry Center, Atascacita and Clements. We'll be right back after this message from the University Interscholastic League. I'll never forget the day I decided to go out for the football team. Mr. Banks, the JV football coach and my history teacher, asked me to stay after class. I thought I was in trouble. He said, hey, Darius, have you thought about going out for football? I think you'd be great. Fact is, I never played football. Fact is, I never had anyone tell me I'd be great at something. So, with no experience at all, I signed up. And a week later, I padded up and was running drills on the field. I never was great, but playing high school sports was one of the greatest experiences of my life. I was accepted by my teammates, and I learned that when someone believes in you, you can believe in yourself. Encourage a student you know to take part in a high school sport. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenall with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything. And we mean everything. We take care of you so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. The we want to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland for taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. And by the way, if I'm not mistaken, this is our 100th game broadcast. Volleyball, football, girls and boys basketball. We still have a full season, even though it's already started. Baseball and softball, we're going to have at least 30 of those games for you. But, of course, we have to clear the table of basketball, and we're not ready for the Clements Rangers to do that. Here are your starting lineups. For Atascacita, 5'8 senior guard Kanye Ortiz, Angel Johnson, a 6-foot senior guard, and A.J. Ungst, who is an outstanding outside shooter. He's a 6-foot senior guard. Then they've got Connor Miller, stands 6'3". He's a senior guard as well. And Caleb Pouncey, the only one in the starting lineup not listed as a guard. He's a forward and stands 6'6". And for Atascacita, there are seven players that are 6'3 or taller, and yet they go with a mostly short lineup. Mostly a bunch of guards who can, you know, just get after you and not necessarily, you know, tower over you when you're trying to get rebounds. And 
And for your Clements Rangers, you just heard them introduce Abdullah Olajuwon, senior power forward or pivot man, whatever you want to call him. Bryce Matthews, a sophomore, and the other sophomore, Divine Uguchukwu, who led the team in scoring in that Tuesday game against Maid Creek. The other starters, seniors C.J. Ogletree, Jaden Campbell. By the way, do not miss the boys' UIL Basketball State Championship starting Thursday, March 10th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Ticket information and more can be found at UILTexas.org. And if the Rangers can find a way to win tonight and then again tomorrow afternoon against Shadow Creek, then they will be there in San Antonio. And, of course, we will follow them. Nothing could possibly keep us away. Clements Rangers going to be going from right to left as we start this ball game. They're wearing the home whites. Abdullah Alajuan will jump center against Caleb Pouncey. Got a good crowd on hand here at the fabulous Berry Center. A great place for, well, all kinds of events, but especially basketball. The lights are bright. The Rangers are playing, and here we go. Ball in the air, and it's a tap by Caleb Pouncey. He controls it, gets it back to Angel Johnson, who moves it into forecourt, gets it back to Pouncey, and now inside quickly. They get the ball to A.J. Ungst. Con Connor Miller, rather. Sorry about that. I, I turned it over on the first play, but here come the Rangers trailing 2 to nothing. Jaden Campbell drives to the baseline, back out to Ugo Chukwu. Three on the way is good. Rangers take the lead 3-2. to two. One half minute into the game. Pouncey has it, sends it over on the wing. Gets the ball in the hands of Ortiz. Ortiz looking for a shot, couldn't find it. Unst on the left wing, returns it to Ortiz. He's guarded by Olajuwon. Looks like the Rangers are going with a man-to-man. -man. And there is Ortiz, started to move toward the hoop, but Olajuwon was in his way. Hamzy Price, the head coach for the Rangers, up off the bench. There goes Pouncey, spins into the circle, kicks it back out to Angel Johnson, drives the baseline, tries to go back there. Now out to Ortiz, drives into the paint, and loses the ball as he goes up. And that's a turnover. The Rangers get it back. So the Rangers have played close games throughout not just the playoffs, but also really the last month of the season. So don't expect either team to pull away in this one. They have it in the four course. Bryce, Bryce Matthews with the wild hair tonight. Drives to the right elbow. Kills his dribble inside. Olajuwon. And the layup is good. A beautiful assist as Bryce Matthews delivered a pinpoint pass. Six and a half minutes to go in the first quarter and it's Clements five to two and Atascacita attacking the rack and Angel Johnson go to the hoop and he is fouled. So it'll be Shadow Creek, winners 73 to 42 over Bel Air and they will provide the opposition. Shadow Creek got 14 points from Cameron Ambry and 18 from both Sean Jones and Bryce Jackson. Caden Tate added nine for the Sharks. Bel Air was led by Jacob Cole with 16 and Noah Newman with 10. But again, Shadow Creek defeats Bel Air 73 to 42. At the line, Angel Johnson hits the first one, makes it five to three, and he'll get one more. The Rangers also overcame foul trouble from Ugo Chukwu and Olajuwon down the stretch. Most of them had, uh, they had three fouls for most of the second half. Both free throws good. Atascacita now within five to four. And they deploy the full court press. It's Bryce Matthews and Jaden Campbell trying to work it up. Campbell with a side to side dribble working on Ortiz. Now he gets it into the four court. Bounce pass to Matthews. Thought about the three. Didn't put it up. Now gets it to Ugo Chukwu. Gets a pick. Top of the key. Backs up. Now he sends it to Bryce Matthews on the far side of the court. Spin move by Matthews. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Actually, he lost it. Angel Johnson was harassing him. And it goes out of bounds. And Tascacita trailing 5-4 gets it back. This is VipeFortMen.com. You can always listen live or listen later. And it's always free on your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. Ortiz in the left corner. Back to Unkst. Launches the three. Way off. And Ugo Chukwu the rebound for the Rangers. Unks still on the floor. Now he's getting up. And they whistle the play dead. And we've got a foul. I think Atascacita wisely committed a foul on purpose because they just didn't have the numbers. Unks was having a hard time getting up. He is on his feet now. And 
moving around pretty normally. I don't think they're going to take him out. No, he's still out there. And the foul was on Pouncey. Far sideline, Bryce Matthews to inbound it. Gets it to Jaden Campbell in the backcourt. He moves up on Ortiz and gets it into the forecourt. Now beckoning a teammate. And another whistle. And they call it on Ortiz. A little bit too aggressive with the hand check. First foul on Ortiz. And we've seen this movie already. Campbell out of the backcourt. Now dribbling across. Bryce Matthews. Gives up his dribble. Ugo Chukwu has it. Moving to his left. Connor Miller on him. Runs out of room. Bounces it back to Jaden Campbell. No look pass to Matthews. Into the paint. Lost it. And is picked up by Atascacita. Here comes Pouncey on the run. Gets it to Angel Johnson underneath. And he lost it going up. Is it going to be a ball out of bounds or a foul? Just a ball out of bounds. No harm done. Clements leading 5-4. 5-17 to go in the first quarter. Ortiz now has it, working on Campbell, sends it to the left corner. Unkst puts one up, and it's deflected by Clements or not. He's saying it was, but the ball hit the back of the backboard and went out of bounds, and the officials are saying it's Rangers' ball, so he simply missed that badly. Landon Jumawan comes in for Atascacita, and he promptly plays aggressive defense on Jaden Campbell in a bounce pass goes off of Jumawan's foot. Now Rangers throwing it again. Bounce pass into Ugo Chukwu. He's deep in the backcourt. Angel Johnson on him. Going side to side. Advancing up. He dribbled all the way across. Now to Bryce Matthews. He's got Jumawan on him. Matthews between the rings. Still dribbling. Hands the ball to Jaden Campbell. Looking for a pick. Now goes to his left. Turns around and gives it back to Olajuwon. Moving in on Pouncey. Nice little step move. Bryce Matthews, three from the left corner. In and out and no good. Rebound Pouncey. And Atascacita brings it back the other way. They're trailing five to four. Your Clements Rangers are on top. Angel Johnson in the left corner drives the baseline. Long bounce past Jumawan. And now they get the ball to David Martinez. No relation to the head coach. And Angel Johnson in the left corner. The three is up. It's no good. And the rebound by Ogletree and got rid of the ball as he was falling backwards into the hands of Bryce Matthews. Campbell, now Matthews has it back. Rangers attacking on offense. Campbell gets it poked away, trying to recover it, does. Goes into the backcourt. Ugo Chukwu, now Matthews back to Ugo Chukwu into the paint, goes in, kicks it over the right corner. Olajuwon, three, way short, no good. Rebound Pouncey for Atascacita. It's been five to four for quite a while. We've got 3.52 to go in the first quarter. Angel Johnson. Into the free throw circle, scoops one up, and they get Jaden Campbell for the foul. Got him with a hip check, trying to keep him away from the rim. Chuck's Egbo standing by the scorer's table, ready to come in for the Rangers. Nobody on the Rangers with more than a foul. Egbo still waiting to come in. Angel Johnson going to shoot two here. First one is good, and the game is tied at five. Two o'clock tip-off time for tomorrow's regional championship game. Ogletree goes out, and Chucks Egbo comes in. Angel Johnson has the ball back after those substitutions, and he'll try to put his team ahead for the first time since they led... Two to nothing. He does make that free throw. And yet another substitution. Atascacita sends Angel Johnson to the bench and brings in Gabe Akai, 5'9", senior guard. David Martinez is guarding Bryce Matthews in the backcourt. Matthews still dribbling, gets the ball to Egbo. Turns around. He's getting some heavy harassment. And the ball goes into the backcourt. It was touched by Atascacita, so it's not an over and back call. Bryce Matthews trying to get a pick from Ugo Chukwu. And that is ratcheted up heavy defense by Atascacita. Campbell bounce pass to Olajuwon. Off his hands, Matthews. Ugo Chukwu, three on the way. It was deflected and short. Rebound, Jumawan for Atascacita. And the Eagles push it. The ball is in the left corner. Devion Randall has it. Bounce pass inside to Gabe Akai. And the ball knocked away by the Rangers. A block by Olajuwon, his first. 
Still, it's a score on the possession. Connor Miller with a floater for Atascacita makes it nine to five. And a charging foul on the Clements Rangers. I believe it was Egbo who committed the foul. That is correct. So the Rangers were up five to three, or correction, five to two. So seven straight points by the Atascacita Eagles. Into the forecourt, David Martinez. Hugo Chukwu picks him up. Nice move by Martinez. Scoop shot rolls off, no good. And the rebound yanked away. It's going to be a held ball, and the possession arrow gives it back to the Rangers. Bryce Matthews was in a tug of war with Gabe Akai. And they got a lot of sweat on the basketball, so one of the officials has to towel it off. 73-42 is the final score in our first semifinal game as Shadow Creek eliminated Bel Air. The Tascacita still pressing in the backcourt, although not as aggressively. Bryce Matthews moving it across the floor. Jumawan right in front of him. Olajuwon drives into the paint and loses the ball, but it was knocked out of his hands by one of the Eagles. David Martinez reached in and grabbed it. Again, he is not any relation, son or otherwise, to the head coach. And Coach David Martinez did say, you know, if he had a big, big, big night scoring, then, you know, maybe he's his son then. Olajuwon is coming off the floor, and he's uh, looking like maybe there's uh, some bleeding coming out of his right hand. It doesn't look like it's a big deal, but they might have to get a bandage on it to make sure that nobody gets bled on. And we got a timeout. We'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. It is eight to five. And by the way, I said seven straight points for the Eagles. It's eight to five, not nine to five. I thought that was the score, but uh, you know, I didn't trust myself. We'll be back. My Friday nights usually spent out. But since my friends got Xfinity Internet, Friday nights in are where it's at. Because Xfinity has Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power a house full of connected devices all at once. We got our show streaming, playlists bumping, and games galore. That's gig speed Wi-Fi for every great night in. Can your internet do that? Come on, y'all. The coasters aren't just for decoration. Now through March 7th, ask how to get a special offer of $200 back when you get GigSpeed Internet. Or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New Connect 50 megabits per second internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and x gateway. Actual speeds vary. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. We want to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland for taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. This is our 100th game, 100th game of the school year. Hugo Chukwu to throw it in underneath the basket at which the Rangers are shooting. The pass batted back out of bounds by Atascacita. Quick hands on the part of Devion Randall, the 5'10 senior guard. Campbell will throw it in. Ogletree is back in. Bryce Matthews receives the inbounds pass. Top of the key, it's Jaden Campbell. Sends it to Ugo Chukwu. Right corner, throws a pass that is picked off by Gabe Akai, and here comes Atascacita. Two on three, and good defense by the Rangers. They bat a shot away, and it's Olajuwon who comes up with the rebound and gets the ball to Jaden Campbell. Good defensive recovery by the Clements Rangers, who play with six players all the time. Inside pass intended for Olajuwon, and... Connor Miller deflected it, but then it won off Abdullah's hands. And so Atascacita gets, gets it back. So the Rangers were up 5-2. to two. Six straight points by Atascacita. The Rangers have gone most of the first quarter without scoring. 
We've got 1.51 to go in this first period. Atascacita spreads out the offense. Jarrell Barron is in the game. They play a lot of guys. David Martinez now has it, guarded by Ugo Chukwu. Gets a pick, moves to his left. Olajuwon picks him up, and from the corner, it's a three-pointer on the way. No good by Jumawan. And the rebound to Ugo Chukwu. He goes all the way down the floor, scoops it up off the glass, and one by the sophomore, Divine Ugo Chukwu. So he can tie it up right here with a free throw. Connor Miller committing the foul. That's the third personal overall for Atascacita. And the free throw is good. We've got a tie game, eight all. Under a minute and a half to go in first quarter. Martinez throws it into the forecourt to Connor Miller. Gets the ball back. Jaden Campbell shadowing him now. A switch and Olajuwon picks him up. And he goes underneath. Olajuwon going for the shot block but couldn't swat it. Gabe Akai scores. And Atascacita is back on top. It's 10 to 8. Ugo Chukwu getting a lot of harassment in the backcourt, but now he gets it into the forecourt. And we got a foul finally called on Gabe Akai. He just kept slapping and poking and finally did get called for a foul. But one of his teammates, that being Jarrell Barron, comes over and slaps his hand and says, Don't worry about the foul. That's what we want you to do. By the way, I'm saying it right. I asked the coach. It's a Kai, not a say. Jaden Campbell now into the forecourt. He's guarded by Pierce Marquez. And we got a foul. And I believe it's Marquez. Fresh off the bench and in the foul column. Hugo Chukwu was going to throw it in. Now it's going to be Bryce Matthews into the backcourt to Jaden Campbell. Picked up by Marquez. A 6-1 guard. Campbell hands it to Ugo Chukwu, right wing. Now over on the left wing, it's Campbell, not dribbling yet. Gets a pick from Olajuwon, kicks over to the right corner. Ogletree passes up the three. Ugo Chukwu launches one. No good. Rebound David Martinez from Atascacita. Quickly up the floor they go. Connor Miller into the forecourt. Back to Martinez, trying to shoot a step back three, can't. Miller shoots the three, missed everything. Rebound Olajuwon. Here comes Bryce Matthews. Matthews all the way to the hoop, and it's a blocking foul on Atascacita. As David Martinez hits the floor. That'll be Martinez's first foul. Six points for Ugo Chukwu to lead the Rangers, and they're trailing 10-8. The free throw by Bryce Matthews is good. He'll get two more. The Tascacita with one more foul will be in the bonus, and we still haven't finished the first quarter. And the second free throw by Matthews is no good. Nine seconds left in the quarter. Martinez trying to get out of the backcourt. Connor Miller still in the forecourt, and it's going to have to be a desperation launch. Martinez from about 35 feet, but it's no good. And the first quarter ends with your Rangers trailing, but only by 10-9. to 9. This is VibeFortBend.com. We'll be right back with the next eight minutes on your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. First Tire and Auto congratulates the Clemens Rangers boys basketball team with the big tire sale. Buy three and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the Clemens fans as we cheer on these student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Go Rangers! Firsttireandauto.com Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon.
Well, we got a score out of Class 5A Regional Region 3 semifinals. And Crosby has defeated Peyto 72 to 68. So the Peyto Panthers are not going to have a state football championship and a state basketball championship in the same school year. Kanye Ortiz and Angel Johnson back on the floor. So is Unkst for Atascacita. They lead 10 to 9 and they get the ball first to start the second quarter. Angel Johnson sends it over to Ortiz between the rings, trying to get free. Now gets the ball in the hands of Connor Miller. Back out to Ortiz for a long three. It's short. Ball batted around. Angel Johnson, a wild save attempt, and it ends up in Egbo's hands. Clements has the basketball. Olajuwon into the forecourt. They don't have the numbers. He waits for help. Gets the ball to Bryce Matthews, farther away from the hoop, and they set up the offense. Ortiz guarding Matthews. There goes Matthews, side to side. Gets it to Jaden Campbell. Ortiz picks him up, and there goes Jaden right in front of our table. Kicks it way back out to Ugo Chukwu. Bryce Matthews, three, good! It would be great to have a broadcast partner tonight. Clements back on top, though, 12 to 10. I just need to uh, work on my swallowing. All right, here we go. A.J. Unkst with the basketball. Gets the ball to Pouncey, who's back in the game. I believe Atascacita has all their starters back in. No, Ortiz. Yeah, Ortiz is one of the starters. They got them all back in there. Connor Miller driving the baseline, puts it up, and somehow got around Abdullah Olajuwon, who was on him like a cheap suit, but somehow he made the basket, and we're tied at 12. Bryce Matthews, a name that is very familiar to Atascacita sports fans. We'll tell you why when we get a little break in the action. Ugo Chukwu moving from right to left. Now he's over near the right corner. Drives all the way in back door. Layup came up short. Caleb Pouncey swipes the rebound for Atascacita and drives in on Olajuwon, who's going to get called for a blocking foul. He was shuffling his feet. He has no trouble with that part of the call, but what he's telling the officials is that Pouncey, with the hand that was not dribbling the basketball, just... You know, not so much the hand, but more the elbow on the left arm, just shoving Abdullah out of the way. But it's a non-shooting foul, and they inbound to Ortiz, now to Unkst. And he sends it to Devion Randall, who has entered the game, and a three-pointer on the way, in and out, no good by Angel Johnson. Here come the Rangers. Olajuwon bringing it up, gets it to Bryce Matthews, guarded by Unkst, now starts dribbling. Goes to the right elbow, almost lost it, kept the ball. And what do we have? I think it's going to be a whistle and a foul on Ortiz. If it is, that's foul number two. So Ortiz quickly checks out of the game, and in comes Gabe Akai. So the Rangers will have the benefit of going to the free throw line, even on non-shooting fouls, because... Atascacita is over the limit. Matthews hits the first free throw. There was an athlete named Bryce Matthews who played quarterback and shortstop for Atascacita back in the 2018-2019 year. Great overall athlete. Clements Bryce Matthews hits both free throws and it's 14 to 12 Rangers on top. I got a story about the Atascacita Bryce Matthews again when we get a moment. Unkst into Pouncey. Trying to back in on Olajuwon, throws a hot bounce pass. It goes out of bounds, but evidently the Rangers touched it. None of the Rangers can believe it. The officials aren't discussing it. So I guess it just means that the Tascacita is going to get the ball back. Unkst spells his last name A-U-N-G-S-T. It looks like Unkst, but it's Unkst. I checked. Gabe Akai with the ball. Gets it to Unkst. A little scoop. And it missed everything. Ujo, Ugo Chukwu slips in the backcourt. Great escape pass. Gets it to Matthews. Now Campbell. Left corner. Ogletree three. Short. Rebound Angel Johnson. Here comes the task to see to quickly back down the floor. Unkst pulls up. Shoots a three from the left wing. It's no good. Olajuwon wipes the glass clean. And here come the Rangers. They lead 14 to 12. Five minutes to go in the half. 
Campbell into the forecourt, gets it to Olajuwon, behind the back pass to Ugo Chukwu. He's between the rings and sends it to the left corner. Bryce Matthews, three on the way. Looked like he was hit, no call, and the shot is missed. And the rebound to Angel Johnson of Atascacita, driving through the paint. Ugo Chukwu blocked his shot, but they're going to get him for a push. Oh, I don't know about that call. Oh, it's a beautiful thing to know that Ugo Chukwu is going to be playing basketball for Clements for the next two seasons. He's the super soft. Great noise from the Clements Rangers student section. They are out in force and at full throat. Angel Johnson to shoot. Two free throws coming to try and tie it up. First free throw is good. By the way, that is two fouls on Ugo Chukwu. He had three before the first half was over on Tuesday night against Maid Creek. But made some remarkable defensive plays in the second half and did not get his fourth foul until very late. Second free throw good by Angel Johnson. We're tied again at 14. Ugo Chukwu to throw it in and a serious full court press by Atascacita as Randall guards Ugo Chukwu. Into the forecourt he goes, and it's a blocking foul on Devion Randall. Smart play by Ugo Chukwu as he just really shifted it into a higher gear when he saw that Randall just was not going to be able to stay in front of him and keep his feet set, or get his feet set. And again, the Rangers have the benefit of being in the bonus, so Ugo Chukwu goes to the line. In the jubilation following the Maid Creek win, we got to do interviews with Ugo Chukwu, Olajuwon, and also Jaden Campbell. And the reason we had to interview Jaden Campbell was because his mother just insisted on it. I don't mean insisted to him that he do an interview. I mean insisted to me that I give him one. But I was glad. You know, I'd be happy to talk with all of the Rangers. The only suit up nine, like we've already mentioned. 4.36 to go in this first half. It's 14 all, and Ugo Chukwu finally gets the ball in his hands. First free throw is good. Always helpful to hit the front end of the one and one. Good opportunity for Campbell and Ogletree and Matthews and Olajuwon to get a little bit of a breather. Both free throws good. And it's 16-14 Clements. Angel Johnson into the forecourt for Atascacita. Campbell picks him up, but now they have to make a defensive switch, and it's Olajuwon guarding Johnson. In he goes and swatted down by Olajuwon. That one didn't get six feet off the ground before he swatted it. Ugo Chukwu all the way down the floor. Layup too hard, no good. Rebound Campbell tries, no good. Rebound Ugo Chukwu and draws a foul. Gabe Akai going over the back. And it's back to the line for Ugo Chukwu. Again, I say Akai because that's what it is. And let's see, how many, uh, let's see, they have taken Akai out, I believe. And so, no, they have not. He has two fouls. Ugo Chukwu, two free throws good. 18 to 14. Biggest lead for the Rangers. Angel Johnson into the forecourt. Sends it over on the left to Randall. Now gets it to Pouncey. He's the big man, but he's a long way from the hoop. And now it's Akai, top of the key. Passes to Angel Johnson on the right wing. Ogletree right there. Now the ball in the hands of Jumawan. Goes inside and somehow goes underneath Olajuwon and puts it up. But the Rangers push it. Here is Ugo Chukwu fouled in the open court. Devion Randall. No, wait a minute. They're going to call it on Ugo Chukwu? I guess he... Uh, hmm. Well, he, he did commit a foul, but I didn't really see it. I guess maybe he pushed the defender away with his off arm. It's 18-16, to 16, a Tascacita down. They have the basketball, 3.40 to go in the half. Johnson, right wing, but a long way from the hoop. Bryce Matthews guarding him. Angel Johnson sends it to Connor Miller. Now over on the left, it's Randall. Campbell right in front of him. 
Fakes a high pass and throws it to the side, getting in the hands of Akai. Angel Johnson now. They're playing catch a long way from the basket, trying to draw out the defense. Johnson started to pull the trigger from the left wing, but now it's inside. Connor Miller back to the corner. Randall, three, no good. Rebound, put back try, no good by Atascacita, but Landon Jumawan draws the foul, and he will go to the line. So about that Bryce Matthews of Atascacita story, Ridgepoint in game one of a best of three baseball playoff series pulled the hidden ball trick. Jack Baker tagged out Bryce Matthews in a game where the Rangers, the Rangers, sorry, the Ridgepoint Panthers were down by at least six runs. It might have been seven. They came back to win on a rainy night at Atascacita and then came back the next night to sweep the series in Siena. One free throw good, but the second one missed, and Olajuwon grabs the rebound. Jaden Campbell now working on Angel Johnson. Under three minutes to go in the half. Bryce Matthews was open from three-point land, but he didn't shoot it. Now it's Olajuwon. Jaden Campbell gets it poked away on the left wing, and Angel Johnson trying to buy a call. There's no way in the world that that ball should go back to Tascacita. Thank you. Angel Johnson, good job selling it, buddy. But you know you ain't right. And one of the officials came over and said, no, 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 no. It should be Clements Ball. And justice prevails. All right. Bryce Matthews throws a pass that is knocked out of bounds. Nice hustle. Connor Miller with the anticipation. And the ball goes underneath the broadcast table. And they pull it out from the tablecloth. And okay, now we're ready to go. Clements leading 18-17. And Matthews into the backcourt to Campbell, picked up by Ungst. Campbell between the feet dribble to try and get free. Kills his dribble. Gets the ball to Ogletree. Looking for a pick. Hasn't dribbled yet. Now gets it to Campbell. Top of the key. Left wing. It's Bryce Matthews. Spin move. Now dribbling. Inside the arc. And the ball stolen away by Pouncey. Pouncey almost double dribbled, but he gets the ball in the hands of Connor Miller and Atascacita advancing. Angel Johnson back to Miller, passes up the three from the left wing. Angel Johnson underneath, shot up, and it is short. No good, but a foul called on Bryce Matthews. They say they got Landon, they say that he got Landon Jumawan on the hand. I don't know. 2-10 to go in the half, and Clement still up one. 18 to 17, but Jamalwan trying to tie it up, and he does, and he'll have another free throw that could put the Eagles on top. If it stays close like this, before we get to the intermission, what they talk about at halftime is going to be important. Jamalwan hits both free throws, and Atascacita is on top 19-18. Here comes Campbell with Johnson on him into the forecourt. Now he meets a double team. Bounce pass to Olajuwon over by the scorer's table. And the ball is poked loose. And it's picked up by Pouncey. And Olajuwon got it back. He's on the floor. Gets a bounce pass to Campbell. Quickly ahead to Chuck's Egbo. He almost double dribbled. I think he didn't got away with it. Campbell near the corner. Egbo moves away from the corner and gets the ball to Matthews, who is one of the better ball handlers on the team. Between the feet dribble. Angel Johnson is on him. Makes a move and Johnson reaches in. For Johnson, that's only his first. But free throws for Matthews. Foul on Angel Johnson, first personal, 10 team foul. Clements is in the double bonus. Spinning of the ball, Bryce Matthews, deep knee bend, and the first free throw good. We're tied again at 19. 1.33 left before the halftime intermission. Bryce Matthews, one more. Clements has the lead back, 20 to 19 after he hits both free throws. They roll the ball in, they being the Atascacita Eagles, and Johnson picks it up near the midcourt strike. Gets it to Pouncey, drives the right elbow, puts it up, in and out, no good. Gets a rebound of his own miss. Campbell on the floor, gets the ball in the hands of Elijah Wan. Here comes Abdullah, 
and it's going to be three on two all the way to the rack but he gets his shot blocked by Connor Miller it's a clean block you don't see Abdullah Olajuwon get his shot blocked very often but it's still Ranger ball along the baseline we have a whistle and substitution as David Martinez comes back in for Atascacita and Pouncey may be done for the first half Matthews looking, looking, looking. Got to get it in. And he finally does to Ogletree into the paint. Back out to Olajuwon. Drives the baseline. Gets it inside to Matthews. Ball fought for. And Matthews goes up and draws a foul. It's no good, but he'll get two shots as Jumawan fouled him. Just the first on Jumawan. Correction, they called it on Unkst but it's the first on A.J. Matthews, free throw good. Two-point lead for Clements, 21 to 19. 106 showing on the clock. I don't think this game's gonna be pretty. But uh, you know, that kind of favors Clements. If the final scores are in the 40s, that's pretty good for the Rangers. It's worked out the last several games. All right, here comes Atascacita trading by three. 22 to 19 as both free throws were good. Unks trying to move in on Olajuwon. Gives it back to Connor Miller. Angel Johnson on the right wing. And a pass way over to the left corner. Unks quick trigger three and good. We are tied at 22 with 45 seconds to go in the half. Matthews guarded by Unks. Now to Campbell. See if the Rangers will play for the last shot. Campbell. Throws it back out to Matthews. What's going on here? It's a blocking foul on David Martinez. He's seated on the floor and has that look of incredulity. Clements, students and graduates know what incredulity is. So I don't need to tell you what it is. When I watch a Clements game, I think of Rice Owls games where sometimes they're student section will chant that you're going to be working for us someday or hold up a banner that says that all right Campbell ready at the free throw line free throw good he'll get one more it's Clements back into the lead 23 to 22 we're going to get some information to tell us about lead changes and how many there have been in this first half because we get really good stats you know, at this level of competition. Jaden Campbell hits his free throw, or both of them. It's 24-22, 30 seconds to go in the half, and Atascacita might be playing for the last shot. David Martinez with Abdullah Olajuwon shadowing him near the midcourt circle. Behind the back dribble. And he's still continuing to dribble. Got to watch out, might be a five-second call. Olajuwon is right there, floating like a butterfly, and... Might sting like a bee if Martinez is not careful. Unks shoots a three with three seconds to go. Rebound, Campbell launches one. Oh, he just missed it off the glass and, and then off the right side of the rim. That would have been spectacular. Our score is 24-22. Rangers leading Atascacita. And the halftime break will be 10 minutes. I'm going to go get my tap shoes and we'll fill it. Here in a moment, you'll be back on BikeFortBend.com. My Friday nights usually spent out. But since my friends got Xfinity Internet, Friday nights in are where it's at. Because Xfinity has Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power a house full of connected devices all at once. We got our show streaming, playlists bumping, and games galore. That's gig speed Wi-Fi for every great night in. Can your internet do that? Come on, y'all. The coasters aren't just for decoration. Now through March 7th, ask how to get a special offer of $200 back when you get gig speed internet. Or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New Connect 50 megabits per second internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and X5 gateway. Actual speeds vary. 
All right, welcome to halftime. It's 24 to 22. The Rangers leading the Atascacita Eagles. I think it's going to be tough and tight all the way. And during this halftime break, it's great to talk to Daniel Gotera of KHOU Channel 11. Welcome in, Daniel. And do you have any impressions of this first half? Well, um, I love the way Clemens plays because they, they it's, it's not always pretty, but they get it done. And they, I and said they, that they, about with a minute to go. I said this is not pretty, but it's going to be exciting. Exactly. They, they took it to Atascacita a little bit, and they got into, them into foul trouble, and boom, they got to the free throw, and they made their free throws, which put them ahead. So we got Shadow Creek waiting for the winner of this game, and I presume that you saw most of that game, and... You know, it was kind of one of those heartbreak situations. Uh, not that Shadow Creek would not have won. They won 73-42. to 42, But there were two freshmen for Bel Air. Shelton Henderson, evidently a very serious knee injury, at least a, a very painful one. It happened early, and then he had to leave, and the poor kid was heartbroken. And then you had Coleman Dutton, yet another talented freshman for Bel Air. He had a cramping issue, I think, in his lower right leg, and it just never cleared up. But Shadow Creek looks like it's going to be a tough assignment for whoever comes out of this one, don't you oh, think? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I did feel bad for Shelton uh, Henderson because you could see him on the bench. He was crying. And he, was, he was really emotional about what happened. And I was surprised. They start three freshmen. Bel Air starts three freshmen. So that, that program's in the right direction. But, uh, yeah, Sean Jones for Shadow Creek is a very good player. We saw him shatter a backboard earlier this year. <laughs> and so uh, they're going to be tough to handle. They're 29-3. and three. And uh, we got some good basketball in the Houston area this year. We got we could potentially see teams in 4A, 5A, and 6A, which is awesome. We're talking with Daniel Gotera of KHOU Channel 11, and all the local channels do a great job of very thorough high school sports coverage. And of course, it, it's great to have Chevy Inside High School Sports, hosted by Matt Musel, comes on every Saturday night. I never miss it. And um, you know, you get a lot of. Uh, shooting assignments for that but in your previous career stops did you have as much emphasis on high school sports in other markets oh yeah for sure my first market was actually in sherman texas and uh i don't know if many people know where that is but it's an hour north of dallas actually closer to oklahoma so up there we did a little cowboys and we came down to the metroplex but it was mostly high school sports all the time and there's something about, look, I love covering the pros. It's great to cover those guys. But there's something about covering college athletics and then uh, covering high school sports. The uh, the authenticity of it, the uh, the love for the game is at, at those levels. So that's why I love covering high school. And shout out to you, by the way. Thank you for helping us out this year on the, uh, on the documentary that we did on Marshall High School. Oh, it was my pleasure. I loved watching the show, although I'm kind of wondering, did you jinx them? I mean, that's... They hadn't lost in the well, first I, round I, of the well, playoffs. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I feel like we may have a KHOU curse with that show, except for North Shore. When we did with them, they actually won state. But, uh, yeah, we love doing stuff like that. And you're right. I, I think in this market, we do. I think everybody does a great job of covering high school sports. And we've got so much to get to that uh, I think we all take pride in that for sure. Yes, and you know I kid because I care. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> but, no, seriously, though, some coaches ask, you, we're, we're not going to be jinxed or anything. I'm like, no, 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 you're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, another thing about high school sports, you're kind of talking about the spirit, and, you know, it, it, it's great to cover professional stuff, but there's something special about high school sports, but everything is so giddy around Clements right now. They had not even made a playoff appearance the last six seasons before this one, and here they are, and, by the way, there is a, uh, Akeem the Dream Olajuwon just coming in from uh, one of the tunnels nice. here. Nice. I was looking for him. I wanted to get a shot of him, so now i gotta, I got to keep trying. He's not hard to miss, by the way. He's the tallest person probably in the building. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt my no, own thought, but I'm just great. starstruck. You know, he, of course, is my favorite basketball player of all time. But uh, where was I? Oh, yes. They, they're talking Clem about the excitement Clements with Clements. Not, I mean, that's, that's Yeah, they're not excellent. used to basketball success. And coming off their greatest football season since Derek Carr was their quarterback in 2008. Yeah, right. uh, it's just amazing that they are the last team standing in Fort Mint ISD. They're not ranked. No one really paid much attention when they made the playoffs, but here they yeah, are. Yeah, but uh, as you know, we talked about it before, I, they just play hard. They, they play real hard for their head coach, uh, Van Price, and 
I tell you what, uh, Devine, I know he got in a little bit of foul trouble. That kid can shoot the ball, he can play, and he's just, what, a sophomore? Man. Just a sophomore. Out. That's exciting. And he was really clutch in that game against Maid Creek. He had three fouls before the first half ended. And he goes in, and they really didn't pull him off the floor to save him. He just kept making defensive plays. And, you know, you need a little bit of luck to not get called for one when you go up, you know, opposing the shooter. But he made several great plays, steals, and shot blocks and still didn't get that fourth foul until very late, and it didn't matter. Well, it's all about being smart, too, and, that, and that's one thing. I know, you know, you want to win. You want to you get to the next uh, round, but these guys have to learn uh, in certain situations. Now he's been put in a tough spot again today, foul trouble, three fouls. So hopefully he picked up something from that last experience. I, I doubt he's going to be off the floor much in this yeah. second half. One thing about Atascacita that... They have a lot of guys. They really do. I, mean, I, I was having a hard time. I mean, it's crazy. Well, let's yeah. see how many got minutes in the first half. Uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody got some minutes. Everybody on their roster. That's incredible. Three, six, nine, eleven guys. Yeah, they rotate minutes. them in and out, and it, it's it, it's it's great to see. But Clements has really buckled down on defense and. I, I, I'm excited for that community because it's a, it's a fun group. And the Rangers suit up nine guys and usually play only six until the game is won or lost. So it's it's really amazing. Somehow they, they don't get tired. But, you know, you're talking about Ugo Chukwu for a sophomore just being such a smart player. You've been around in our community long enough to know that everybody at Clements is smart. <laughs> they have that reputation, and it's uh, well-deserved, well-earned. Uh, very strong academic reputation. In fact, I liken them to to Rice for a high school. Yeah, you know, uh, and they also have a pretty uh, pretty impressive alum that's doing pretty well at the NFL level. I'm kind of biased. I knew him from his Northwestern days, but Rashawn Slater with the Chargers. Uh -huh. I mean, he could be I, he could be a really great player. He was he was great as a freshman. He went to Clements High School. So you know, every now and then they pop off a couple of uh, pretty talented players. Well, Daniel Gotera, I really appreciate it. I have my tap shoes underneath the table, but thanks to you, I didn't have to put them on. Oh, Just, I'm, I'm happy to help. Anytime, yeah. yeah, anytime we're in the building together, I'm happy to help. Well, I'll keep watching Channel 11. You know, yes, please do. <laughs> all of that high school coverage, I always want to make sure I didn't miss something and uh, see who's getting the most love. It is so hard to pick out who to cover. I mean, there's so many great stories yep. at the high school level all over the greater Houston area. Yeah, no, but thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Let's see what this second half holds. All right, you the man. Thank you very much, Daniel Gotera. It is 24 to 22. Clements leads at the half. And we'll take a quick break and be back with the final 16 minutes. You know, it could go to OT. It might even be more than 16 minutes. We'll be back on BikeFortBend.com. First Tire and Auto congratulates the Clemens Rangers boys basketball team with the big tire sale. Buy three and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the Clemens fans as we cheer on these student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Go Rangers! Firsttireandauto.com Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, both teams are Back in the gym here, and we're ready to start the second half. Clements leading 24 to 22. Somebody is going to survive in advance to play Shadow Creek tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock, and another one will be crying into its sonic slush. All right, so for the Clements Rangers, they have six players who appeared on the floor and leading the way with points. It was Bryce Matthews and Divine Ugo Chukwu, both with 10. By the way, personal fouls. The only problem for the Rangers is Ugo Chukwu has three. Chucks Egbo has two, but they can probably live with that. And for Atascacita, their leading scorer in the first half 
Well, they had a co-leading score. Only six points for Angel Johnson and for Connor Miller. Landon Jamawan had five. As far as fouls, nobody has more than two for Atascacita. And here we go. Rangers moving left to right, and they get the ball first. Bryce Matthews into Jaden Campbell. Ortiz picks him up near the midcourt strike. Now it's on the left wing. Bryce Matthews side to side with Unks near him. Now Ugo Chuku almost lost the ball. Pouncy in his face. Moves near the top of the key. Olajuwon left corner. Drives the baseline. Puts it up with the right hand and good. And it's a four-point lead for the Rangers. The biggest one they've enjoyed. Unks quickly down the floor. Shoots the three. Olajuwon the rebound and fouled by Pouncy. Pouncy gave him a shove while he was still in the air. And as I mentioned during our halftime interview with Daniel Gotera of Channel 11 KHOU, Akeem the Dream is in the house just across the way. My favorite basketball player ever, and it's not even close. And before we inbound the ball, it's got some sweat on it, and the official towels it off for Ugo Chukwu. The Tascacita looks like they're ready to bring the full court press. Now they back up a little bit. Angel Johnson guarding Ugo Juku. He's into the floor court. Campbell now Olajuwon. Bryce Matthews on the right wing. Trying to get around Unkst. Now between the rings. There goes Ugo Chukwu. Pulls up at the left elbow. And now Jaden Campbell. Three-pointer from the right side. No good. Ugo Chukwu the rebound and the putback. And the biggest lead for the Rangers. 28-22. to They outscored Maid Creek 10-2 to start the third the other night. In the regional quarterfinal. And there goes Pouncey driving the right side of the free throw lane. Got position on Olajuwon and scored. Ugo Chukwu with a slow dribble. Unkst on him between the feet. Moves down the far sideline. There he goes. And the pass is batted away. Stolen by Ortiz. Quickly to Johnson. And Johnson. It's a foul on Jaden Campbell. I thought Jaden had pretty good position. But Johnson did the right thing and just took the ball right at him. Scooped up the shot, so it's a shooting foul. Angel Johnson shoots two. Angel Johnson, let's see, did he shoot any free throws in the first half? Yes, he did. He was six for six, and now he's seven for seven. I didn't realize uh, that all of his points came from the free throw line, but they did. He was 0 for 5 shooting overall, including 0 for 2 on three-pointers. Misses the second one. Olajuwon grabs the rebound, and it's 28-25, Rangers on top. Campbell down the far sideline. Meets a double team just as he gets into the forecourt, and an entry pass to... Ogletree back out to Matthews, now Campbell to Olajuwon in the left corner, drives, jump stop, puts it up, beautiful floater with two hands. Securing the ball and scoring to give the Rangers a five point lead again, 30 to 25, underneath, pick and roll, backdoor cut to Unkst from Pouncey. Beautiful play by Atascacita and we're back to a three point margin, 30 to 27. Olajuwon with Pouncey picking him up near midcourt, gets the ball to Campbell. Now Ogletree on the right wing. Johnson right there in his face. Hands the ball to Matthews. Johnson picks up Matthews. There goes Bryce into the paint. Jump stop. Back to Ogletree. Right wing. It is Olajuwon behind the back dribble. Now Bryce Matthews thought about the three. Knocked his man down and called for a foul. Bryce Matthews knocking down Angel Johnson. That's his second. Ortiz dribbles into the forecourt with no pressure from Clements, but there Bryce Matthews picks him up between the rings. He goes. Unkst releases the three in and out. No good. Rebound to Lajuan. Avoids the uh, people trying to slap the ball away. Goes all the way down the floor himself. Lays it in with a left hand. It is 32 to 27. Back to a five-point lead for the Rangers. Angel Johnson traveled, got away with it. Gave the ball to Connor Miller. Shoots the three. That's good. We're back to a two-point spread. Olajuwon dribbling down the middle of the court. Look out. Unkst is right behind him. 
And we've got a timeout taken by the Rangers. We'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. 32 to 30. Rangers lead it. Exactly five minutes to go in the third. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. The Clements cheerleaders doing their thing, but I have to confess I was listening as hard as I could to figure out what they were saying. I guess they were scatting, you know, like Ella Fitzgerald used to do. Here comes the heavy pressure. Campbell with an overhand pass to Olajuwon into the forecourt. There goes Ugo Chukwu, lays it up, no good, but he's fouled by Pouncey. Pouncey already had two. That is his third foul. I'll tell you what. It kind of looked like, you know, you were being jumped by guys in an alley as Campbell got the basketball. All of a sudden, these defenders are rushing at him in the backcourt. He throws a pass that was almost picked off by Atascacita, and it ended up getting tipped to Chukwu, Ugo Chukwu, who went to the rack, and he didn't score. He gets two free throws, but as I was explaining that, he missed the first of them. Here comes the next one. Good. 33 to 30, Rangers on top. Angel Johnson for Atascacita in the red uniforms with navy blue stripes on either side. Moving to his right, gets a pick. Angel Johnson still with the basketball, still dribbling on the right wing. Olajuwon on him, drives into the paint, puts it up. Oh, blocked Olajuwon! Here comes Bryce Matthews right down the middle, three on two, all the way to the hoop, and it rolls off. But wait a minute. Campbell tipped it in, but it's going to be offensive goaltending, and I think that's a good call. If any, bar, any part of the basketball is above the imaginary cylinder that extends up from the rim, then you can't touch it if you're on offense, so I think that's a good call. 4.29 to go in the third quarter, 33 to 30. Clements leads Atascacita. The Rangers trying to get into the regional final round tomorrow afternoon at two against Shadow Creek. It is Devion Randall. Sends the ball on the near side to Connor Miller. Guarded by Ugo Chukwu. Drives to the right, stops the, near the right side of the free throw lane and kicks it back out to Angel Johnson. Now it's Jumawan. Pulls up, three from the left wing, and it's good. We are tied at 33. Olajuwon gets it to Jaden Campbell. Jumawan on him. Campbell, double team in the backcourt. Gets it to Matthews, pass tipped, but Ugo Chukwu controls. Drives left baseline, kills his dribble, and the ball swatted out of bounds by Connor Miller. Atascacita really active on defense. We've got 3.50 to go in the third. 33 all. 13 points for Ugo Chukwu. And 10 points for Bryce Matthews and a timeout. We'll take it with him. This is VibeFortBend.com. My Friday nights, usually spent out. But since my friends got Xfinity Internet, Friday nights in are where it's at. Because Xfinity has Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power a house full of connected devices all at once. We got our show streaming, playlists bumping, and games galore. That's gig speed Wi-Fi for every great night in. Can your internet do that? Come on, y'all. The coasters aren't just for decoration. Now through March 7th, ask how to get a special offer of $200 back when you get GigSpeed Internet. Or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New Connect 50 megabits per second internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and x gateway. Actual speeds vary. We've got a tie game with 3.50 to go in the third quarter. Clements in Atascacita, 33 all. 
And one of the reasons it's close is because both teams are brilliant from the free throw line. The Rangers were 14 out of 15 in the first half. The Tascacita was 9 out of 10, but both teams awful from beyond the three-point line. One for 12 in the first half for a Tascacita, although they have scored a three here in the third quarter. And the Rangers were 2 for 8 from three-point land in the first half. Bryce Matthews to throw it in far sideline. Gets it to Jaden Campbell. It's in the backcourt. He has to chase the ball down. And the ball is on the floor. And Atascacita has it. Angel Johnson called a timeout. And the Rangers are saying nobody called timeout. He should have been called for traveling because he rolled over on the floor with the ball. But the officials do give Atascacita the timeout. We'll take it with them. 3.44 to go. In quarter number three, we're still tied at 33. First Iron Auto congratulates the Clemens Rangers boys basketball team with the big tire sale. Buy three and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the Clemens fans as we cheer on these student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Go Rangers! Firsttireandauto.com. Back to action with 3.44 to go in the third quarter. Atascacita was awesome in the fourth quarter when they beat Dawson in the regional quarterfinal round. But Clements, despite the, its lack of depth, has been great, clutch, and late. Angel Johnson kicks it back for a three-pointer in and out by Jumawan. And the rebound, Olajuwon, went high to get it. Atascacita, a little bit of backcourt pressure. Jaden Campbell, guarded by Akai, gets it into the forecourt. Cross-court pass to Olajuwon, drive into the hoop, there he goes. No, he kicks it back out to the left corner, and it's Ugo Chuku who puts it up. He's knocked down while shooting the three. What? Oh my goodness. They said that Ugo Chukwu used his leg to trip a defender. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't see if he did that or not. But Coach Hemsey Price is giving the official who called it an earful. Third team foul of the second half for the Rangers. 3.15 to go and we're still tied at 33. On the floor for the Rangers, you've got Ogletree, Campbell, Olajuwon, Egbo, and Matthews. Campbell, Matthews, and Egbo all with two fouls. And here comes Angel Johnson into the forecourt for Atascacita. It's still 33 to 33. He moves to his right. Moving in on the three-minute mark. Egbo guarding him, pulls up, pass underneath, and the shot is blocked by Olajuwon, or maybe it was Egbo. And it almost was saved by Atascacita after the block, but Landon Jamawan stepped on the baseline while trying to save it. Olajuwon to throw it in. Gets it to Bryce Matthews. Angel Johnson following him every step. Side-to-side -side dribble. Bryce Matthews now to Campbell. On the left wing, a long way from the hoop. Akai guarding him. Olajuwon to Campbell. Now Egbo in the left corner. Now they work the perimeter. Connor Miller guarding Abdullah Olajuwon. Bounce pass, and it is stolen away by Atascacita. Here comes Jamawan. And his shot is blocked by Olajuwon. Bryce Matthews quickly down the floor for the Rangers. Pulls up at the free throw line. Now Olajuwon, free throw line back to Egbo. Left elbow, Bryce Matthews top of the key, and he calls for a reset of the offense still 33 all 216 to go in the quarter Matthews to Campbell drives into the paint over in the right corner and it's Campbell called for a foul knocking Devion Randall down offensive foul oh my goodness three fouls now on Campbell foul trouble is well troubling for the Rangers right now because Ugo Chukwu is already on the bench with three. Two minutes to go in the quarter. 
There goes Martinez to Randall. Now Pouncey. They move it over to here to the near side. Akai sends it way over to the corner to Randall. Campbell on him. Got to be careful. Now top of the key. Three on the way. Good by Gabe Akai. And now stolen by Martinez. Sends it to Randall in the right corner. Passes up the three. Now Connor Miller launches the three. In and out, no good. Rebound, fought for on the floor. Matthews gets it to Campbell. Quickly to Egbo. Down the floor, a minute and a half to go. Egbo to the rack. He's fouled. Connor Miller got him, and that'll be the second on Miller. This is the kind of frenetic pace that I don't think is helpful to the Rangers. They are in such amazing physical condition, but you just don't want to push your six-man rotation too hard. But they got foul trouble. That's going to be difficult to deal with as well. Egbo misses the first free throw. His first free throw attempt of the game. Rangers down 36-33. Egbo hits the second one. It's 36-34. Connor Miller into Martinez. Now to Pouncey between the rings. Bounce pass inside Connor Miller, and he gets under Olajuwon and scores. And Olajuwon is arguing about something, but nobody is close enough to him to hear it. We'll be back after this message from the University Interscholastic League. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the boys' UIL basketball state championship starting Thursday, March 10th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Ticket information and more can be found at UILTexas.org. We'll be back after one more break. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. We want to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland for taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fortman County sports every week. Man, have we had a basketball season for you. Hopefully this is not the last game. Atascacita leads at 38-34. Olajuwon got away with the travel as he caught the inbounds pass. Dribbling up ahead of Pouncey. And the ball poked away by Pouncey but saved back into Bryce Matthews. That, of course, is not what Pouncey intended to do. Campbell stopped near the three-point arc. Gets it back to Matthews a long way from the hoop. We're approaching the one-minute mark of this third quarter. Matthews hands to Campbell, got his wrist slapped, no call. Ball to Egbo, into the free throw circle, turns around, gives it back to Campbell. We're at 52 seconds. Campbell with Akai right in front of him, and Pouncey steals the ball, and it goes off his hands to Akai. Atascacita has it back, leading by four, 40 seconds to go in the third. Akai over on the right side to David Martinez, and the head coach, David Martinez, no relation to his player of the same name. Calling out instructions. Martinez just standing there holding the ball. Now a cross court pass to Akai. Back to Martinez. The clock is at 24. Campbell jumps and now Pouncey inside. They kick it back to Martinez. I think he got away with the travel after he caught that ball. Now it's Randall near the top of the circle. Martinez massaging the ball. 10 seconds to go. Guarded by Campbell. And Martinez. Egbo comes up on him. Randall turns around, goes to the rack in an easy layup. Olajuwon had to be careful. And that ends the quarter. Not a good quarter for the Rangers as they now trail by a score of 40 to 34. We'll be back on BiteFortBend.com.
First Tire and Auto congratulates the Clemens Rangers boys basketball team with the big tire sale. Buy three and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the Clemens fans as we cheer on these student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Go Rangers! Firsttireandauto.com. Tonight's exclusive VibeFortBend.com broadcast of the Clements Rangers and the boys basketball regional semifinals is brought to you tonight by Xfinity, the future of awesome, by First Tyrant Automotive. Four great Fort Bend County locations where you can get the best prices on tires and you can get great service. Anything your vehicle needs to run at its very best, all four of those locations open Monday through Saturday. Visit FirstTyrantAuto.com by Archer Volkswagen, open since 1956 and ready to serve you. Archer Volkswagen is on Highway 59 South, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. You will feel like family at Archer Volkswagen. And by the Needville Insurance Agency, put hundreds of dollars back in your pocket when Bradley Stavanon and the Needville Insurance Agency team shop all those carriers. They'll get the very lowest premium for you. Call them, 979-793-7411 or go to needvilleinsurance.com. The Clements Rangers got to come up with eight great minutes of basketball. They have several players in foul trouble, and Atascacita gets the ball to begin this fourth quarter, leading 40 to 34. Ortiz, bounce pass, gets it to Jumawan. Trying to get free, hands it back to Ortiz. Bryce Matthews on him near the right wing. Atascacita can take its time, and they probably will. Cross court pass to Angel Johnson. Olajuwon guarding him. No dribble yet. There he goes. Starts forward. Now backs up. Johnson to the rack. Olajuwon disrupted the shot. The ball is free. And what's the call here? They call one on Olajuwon. And it was not a shooting foul, but Atascacita will get the ball underneath the basket at which they're shooting. 7.30 to go in regulation. The Clements Rangers had not made the playoffs for six straight seasons, but they are making noise in the playoffs this year, yet they have to come through. And now a quick inbounds pass to Angel Johnson, and are they going to call Ugo Chukwu for a foul? Yes, they will. It happened so fast. Oh, my goodness. That is his fifth foul. The sophomore sensation, Divine Ugo Chukwu, is off the floor with five fouls. Chuck's Egbo comes in. Some really close, if not questionable, foul calls, at least a couple of them against Divine Ugo Chukwu. So the Rangers, trailing 40 to 34, will have to figure out a way to get it done without him. Angel Johnson is at the foul line. Spins the ball. His shot is in the air and good. And that's the biggest lead for Atascacita, 41 to 34. Eight points for Angel Johnson. In and out with the second free throw. Olajuwon. Had it go off his hands, but now Ogletree has it. Ogletree is trapped. Gets it to Olajuwon. they got to get it out of there. And there's a turnover. Angel Johnson steals it away. Egbo on him, and now they call Egbo for a foul. I didn't see it. But that's number three on Chuck's Egbo. Atascacita. Outscored Dawson 28 to 14 in the fourth quarter of their regional quarterfinal playoff win. Angel Johnson rattles the first free throw in. Now the lead is eight. At halftime, Clements led 24 to 22. Angel Johnson's second free throw, nothing but net. And the lead is 9, 43-34. Bryce Matthews guarded by Unst in the backcourt. Here goes Bryce, right up to the midcourt stripe, stops, now moves across. Dribbling to his right, gets a pick from Olajuwon. 
Near the top of the key, gets it to Campbell, who goes back around the horn now to Olajuwon, right wing. Unst on him. Under seven minutes to go. Now between the rings, it is Campbell. Campbell directing traffic, moves to his right, and now throws it over in the left corner. Ogletree fakes a three, shoots one from behind the arc. It's no good. Rebound Unst for Atascacita, and a foul by Elijah Wan. Kind of a silly foul. He really didn't need to slap at it there, but that is number three on Abdullah, son of the dream. Correction, they say Jaden Campbell. Well, I guess uh, Elijah Wan got away with a slap, so he still has only two, but Jaden Campbell has enough fouls to match his jersey number four, and Unkst hits the first free throw. Now we've got some kind of uniform issue for Bryce Matthews. Let's see. Um, I guess it's a cut on his leg. It's bleeding slightly, and they have to get that bleeding controlled. And they're going to give Matthews enough time to get back on the floor. Well, we're going to take a timeout. 44 to 34 at Tascacita on top of Clements, and we shall return on VipeFortBend.com. My Friday nights usually spent out. But since my friends got Xfinity Internet, Friday nights in are where it's at. Because Xfinity has Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power a house full of connected devices all at once. We got our show streaming, playlist bumping, and games galore. That's gig speed Wi-Fi for every great night in. Can your Internet do that? Come on, y'all. The coasters aren't just for decoration. Now through March 7th, ask how to get a special offer of $200 back when you get GigSpeed Internet. Or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New Connect 50 megabits per second internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and x gateway. Actual speeds vary. Unst hit his second free throw coming out of the timeout. And it's now an 11-point lead for Atascacita, 45-34. The Rangers have 6 minutes, 35 seconds to make a comeback. They're shorthanded. Bryce Matthews stops near the right baseline, way near the top of the key to Olajuwon. Moves in on his defender, Ortiz, puts it up. And is that an and one? The Rangers could certainly use it. Yes. I believe it is. Wait a minute. One, one official says one free throw coming, in which case it would be a basket counts situation. And another official said two shots. The, the scoreboard now says 45-36. So evidently they did give him the basket. And Abdullah Olajuwon at the free throw line to try and draw the Rangers a little bit closer. Makes it. It is 45 to 37. Rangers with all kinds of foul trouble, and they're down by eight. Bounce pass inbounds. They deploy the full court press. Ortiz brings it into the front court. Unks passes up the three. Now it's Angel Johnson between the rings, guarded by Elijah Wan. Spin move near the far sideline. Side to side dribble, trying to get free. Elijah Wan shadowing him, and we've got a whistle. And the foul is called on Abdullah Olajuwon. That's foul number three. Jaden Campbell is already playing with four. And Divine Ugochukwu committed five, and he's on the bench watching helplessly. 6.08 to go. As Angel Johnson puts up the first free throw, rattles it in. The body language of Olajuwon and also C.J. Ogletree looking a little bit discouraged. Johnson's second free throw rattles off no good and an over-the-back call against Jamawan of Atascacita. That's a break. It's the fifth foul of the half for Atascacita, but the Rangers have nine fouls and 
You're one foul away from the double bonus. Like in a bad way. There goes Bryce Matthews moving across the midcourt stripe. Hands the ball to Olajuwon, guarded by Unst. Drives in near the left side of the free throw line, and the ball is poked away. Here comes Bouncy. He's free for a dunk attempt. Ogletree fouled him. It's no good, but Pouncey will get two foul shots. Well, here's something refreshing. Ogletree commits a foul, and it's only his first. The three officials are talking about something. And now one of them goes over to the scores table just to do the usual. Holds up three fingers to indicate it was Ogletree. And two shots coming for Caleb Pouncey, the 6'6 senior forward for Atascacita. He was basically the sixth man for last year's state semifinalist team. He's short with a first free throw. And the Clements fans are happy about that. 5.49 left. Hopefully not 5.49 left in the Rangers' season. But they're down by nine. Still down by nine as the second free throw is missed. And Olajuwon grabs the board. He's going to dribble into the forecourt. He may go all the way. Yes, he does. Puts it up. No good short. Angel Johnson the rebound and Pouncey disrupted the shot that was a missed opportunity five and a half minutes to go here goes Johnson into the paint puts it up he goes down hard who are they going to call the foul on if it's Campbell he's gone it is Campbell Jaden Campbell will join Divine Ugo Chukwu on the bench And he goes over and shakes David Martinez's hand. Jaden Campbell, what a player. He's done great things for these Clements Rangers. But he may have played his last minute of high school basketball. And coming onto the floor, it's Jojo Perwoko. And in all of our broadcasted games featuring Clements, we have not seen Jojo on the floor other than warm-ups. Two shots coming for Angel Johnson. Trying to expand on the nine-point Atascacita lead. We've got 5.29 remaining in the game. First free throw good. Ups it to 10. And a little bit of a discussion. They're looking over at the Clement student section. I can't imagine what they need to do over there. All right, so I'm trying to read lips here. Okay, it's something about flash photography. Evidently, evidently someone in the stands is using flash photography, but that's a no-no. And it's been very consistent at all the basketball games we broadcasted. All right, Angel Johnson ready to shoot his second free throw. It is up and good. It's an 11 point game again. Olajuwon into Matthews. Matthews moving across the timeline or actually stopped short. Got it back to Olajuwon. Now he's into the forecourt. There goes Abdullah. Kicks it back out to Ogletree. Passes up the three. Bryce Matthews, two pointer near the free throw line. And Olajuwon goes up strong. Now it is a rebound. Egbo finger roll in. 48 to 39. Rangers fans certainly are not giving up and neither are the Rangers themselves. Bounce pass between two defenders to Martinez. Now it's Randall. Now back to Angel Johnson. Now Martinez has it. Perwoko guarding him. See what JoJo can do. Here goes Martinez trying to get around Perwoko. Drives into the paint and Perwoko gets the steal. Ogletree comes up with it. Olajuwon into the forecourt. Right side of the free throw line and a blocking foul against the Tascacita. But it won't be foul shots for the Rangers. Not yet. 4.32 to go and they trail by nine. Bryce Matthews to throw it in along the baseline. On the floor for the Rangers. Perwoko 
Ogletree, Egbo, Matthews, and Olajuwon. Atascacita has a very deep bench, and they have played all 11 uniformed players tonight. Matthews slaps the ball, gets it into Olajuwon, and a quick move. He didn't dunk it, but he just laid it in. It's a seven-point game. Perwoko and Olajuwon applying pressure to Angel Johnson. He's into the forecourt. Johnson still dribbling now, kills it. Trying to pass to someone, and he hands it off to Randall. Randall meets a double team. Now the ball back in Johnson's hands. Perwoko on him. There he goes into the paint. Slapped out of his hands by Olajuwon. They're going to call him for the foul, but he got all ball. And that's what he's telling the official. Correction, they call the foul on Bryce Matthews. And I believe that's his fourth. So I guess uh, I should apologize to the officials because Olajuwon, yes, he did get all ball, but it was not Olajuwon who was called for the foul. Clement students letting the officials know what they think. Angel Johnson, who's done a great job of drawing fouls and getting to the line, especially in the second half. Puts up the first one, it's good. The lead now 49 to 41. Ortiz is over by Coach Martinez getting some instructions while they wait for Angel Johnson to shoot his second free throw in the air. Rattles off, no good, rebound Olajuwon. Quickly down the floor, Egbo has it, and he is fouled. Pouncey fouled him. 4.06 to go, and it is in the Rangers' favor since they're trailing here. Anytime that Atascacita can enable them to score without the clock moving, that's a good thing, and that's the seventh foul of the half. So finally, the Rangers are enjoying the benefit of being in the bonus. And you gotta hit all of them here. Rangers sending a couple of rebounders, but not very tall ones. Matthews and Perwoko along either side of the free throw lane as Egbo prepares to shoot. Chucks makes the first one. Hit the front iron, then gently off the glass and settled down through. It's a seven point game. Egbo, three bounces of the ball and the second free throw is off the back iron, no good, rebound Ortiz. Guarded in the backcourt by Matthews. Matthews and Egbo have trapped him. And is that a timeout called by Atascacita? It certainly is. We'll take it with them on VibeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Iron Auto congratulates the Clemens Rangers boys basketball team with the big tire sale. Buy three and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the Clemens fans as we cheer on these student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Go Rangers! Firsttireandauto.com Okay, folks, exactly four minutes left in the fourth quarter. The Clements Rangers trailing 49-42 and battling for their playoff life here in the regional semifinal against Atascacita. They just made an announcement that for everyone's safety, the fans need to stay off the floor following the game no matter what. But on Tuesday against Maid Creek at the Merrill Center, the Clements students stormed the court after their victory, and if they come back to win this one, I don't think you're going to have much success keeping them off the floor. Atascacita in the backcourt, Perwoko guarding Angel Johnson, moving across the timeline, bounce pass, 
And he gets it to Akai. Now back to Johnson. Bounce pass to Ortiz. Kills his dribble. Egbo following him. Now they get it in the hands of Randall. And Ortiz was knocked down by Matthews. For Matthews, that is foul number four. If you just joined us, Jaden Campbell and Divine Ugo Chukwu have both gone off the floor with their fifth foul for the Rangers. So it is an uphill battle for sure. They're down by seven. And now Ortiz, a free throw with 3.41 to go. The first one is good. 50 to 42 and another one coming. If the Rangers can somehow wriggle off the hook and get the win tonight, we will be joining you at 1.45 p.m. tomorrow for the regional championship final against Shadow Creek. If not, we'll have a couple of baseball games. Ortiz, second free throw, also good. The lead back up to nine, 51 to 42. Olajuwon in the backcourt, moves it into the forecourt between the feet, dribble, but he lost it. Randall stole it away and got it to Johnson, who is fouled either by Olajuwon or Bryce Matthews. Neither one of them is going to be happy. It is Olajuwon who commits his fourth. 3.31 remaining on the clock as Angel Johnson patiently waits for the chance to shoot a pair of free throws. He will get both as Clements with its number of fouls is into the double bonus now. And the Rangers have one timeout left according to the scoreboard. Johnson hits the first free throw. It's a 10 point spread. Johnson ready for the next one. It is good. It would be. 53 to 42. Bryce Matthews. Guarded by Randall. Moves into the forecourt near the top of the key. Over to Olajuwon. They got to shoot pretty soon here. Into the circle. Lays it off for Egbo. Backdoor layup with the right hand. That's good. And that will make it 53 to 44. They'll deploy the full court press. Matthews guarding Johnson who inbounds it. Gets it to Jamawan. Now into the forecourt is Ortiz. Kills his dribble ball. Almost. Oh my goodness. Egbo knocked it away. But I guess the official was standing out of bounds when it hit his leg. I was thinking the official was inbounds and it had bounced off his leg and stayed within the boundary. 3-0-1 to go. Nine point game. Unkst to throw it in. Way into the backcourt. Perwoko guarding Johnson. He turns around and a bounce pass. A timeout taken before the bounce pass by Atascacita. Never mind. Not a timeout. It was off one of the Rangers' legs and out of bounds. Unkst throws it in, gets it to Miller. Connor Miller to Unkst. Now they're just killing time. Ortiz near the midcourt stripe. Back to Miller. Now Johnson guarded by Ogletree and fouled by Ogletree. That's his second. Free throws coming. Rangers down by nine with 2.47 left. The time is bleeding off very slowly, but the Rangers just aren't scoring enough points to make a task to sweat. And the Eagles, especially Angel Johnson, have been doing a great job from the free throw line. Another one for Angel Johnson. He scored six points in the first half and all were from the free throw line. And I'm anxious to see the final stat sheet. He may not have scored from the field. In and out with the second free throw. Matthews down the far sideline, splits two defenders. Pulls up near the left elbow, off the back iron, no good, one and done. Angel Johnson grabs the rebound for Atascacita. And this one may belong to the Eagles. Here comes Johnson with two and a half minutes to go. He did an over and back and got away with it. Back to Ortiz. Triple team gets rid of the ball. Now to Ungst. Passes up the three and gets it back to Angel Johnson. Perwoko on him. Long, high cross-court pass to Ortiz. They're just playing keep away. Underneath to Ungst. Layup is good, and that may be the dagger. 
It's 56 to 44. Biggest lead is 12 points. Two minutes to go now as Olajuwon moves into the forecourt. Matthews pulls up, shoots a three. Yes! Lead is down to nine, and Clements calls its final timeout. We'll take it with him. It is by FortBend.com, 155 to go. First Tire and Auto congratulates the Clemens Rangers boys basketball team with the big tire sale. Buy three and get one free. The rubber hits the road with great savings for all the Clemens fans as we cheer on these student athletes. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Go Rangers! Firsttireandauto.com Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. I want to thank Stacy Stroman. She is the assistant campus athletic coordinator at Peyto High School. It pained her to do so, but she texted me information that we wanted to get, and that was that Crosby defeated the Peyto Panthers in the boys' Region 3-5A semifinal, 72-68. So the Peyto Panthers will not win a state championship in both football and boys' basketball in the same school year. Just in case you missed it, by the way, a few days ago, B.J. Gott, the state championship head football coach for Peyto, announced he's taking the job at Pearland, and no one has officially been announced as the new Peyto head football coach. Atascacita inbounds the ball, leading 56-47. to After that three-pointer, Unkst in the left corner does not shoot the three. It's just keep away the four-corner offense being used by Atascacita. We're at 139 to go. Ortiz has it, Bryce Matthews shadowing him down the far sideline. Ortiz leaves his foot, gets it to Unkst, and it looks like there's no need for Atascacita to shoot, so they won't. Gabe Akai and Connor Miller playing catch. And now a pass there to Jumawan. Gets it to Ortiz, kills his dribble. I think he double dribbled. They didn't call it, but it's kind of a lost cause at this point. 1-12 to go. Connor Miller, Unkst, now back to Ortiz. Atascacita just not worried about scoring. They just want to protect the ball. And the Rangers can't do anything about it. They have run out of fouls. They have run out of energy. And the Atascacita Eagles are going to get a well-deserved win here tonight and put an end to the storybook season. 48 seconds. Ortiz bounce pass to Miller. And he is fouled by Bryce Matthews. That's foul number four on Bryce. And Miller is waving at him as if he has five fouls, but according to the scoreboard, he doesn't. Now, wait a minute. It is on Bryce Matthews. So he's not done. Olajuwon has four fouls, and I think the Atascacita fans were hoping that it was Olajuwon who had fouled out. Free throw good by Connor Miller. 6'3", senior forward, and it will not be his last high school game. He has another one at 2 o'clock tomorrow against Shadow Creek. 43.7 seconds to go. Miller hits the second free throw. The lead is now 58-47. And the Rangers will just try to get it to single digits. 38 seconds left. Fade away, no good. A two-point try by Bryce Matthews. And it rolls off no good, but he'll try to get the Rangers back on the, the board and under a 10-point spread. The last 10 Rangers games and 15 of their 28 wins have been by single-digit margins. Matthews hits the first free throw. It is 58 to 48. He'll get one more. The Tascacita students are now serenading the Rangers, and the second free throw is missed. Miller grabs the rebound. He's fouled immediately, and it's either going to be Ogletree 
or, well, never mind. It's on Ogletree. He's one of the few Rangers who didn't get in foul trouble until really late in this game. Miller will enjoy another free throw with absolutely no pressure. In and out, no good. No worries for Itascasita. They've got the game. 35.9 to go. Second free throw for Miller is good. Olajuwon inbounds to Matthews. Launches a long three from the left wing, and it's nothing but net. They've got it down to 59-51. Now Unst all the way down the floor. Gets it to Jamalwin. Tries the dunk. No good. Ogletree rebounds. Now Matthews shooting the three. And it's good with 13 seconds to go. No timeouts for the Rangers. And Atascacita will take its time. They get it in and a foul committed. Bryce Matthews hacking down on Gabe Akai. It's a five-point game with 7.8 to go. I said uh, that Atascacita had the game, and they probably still do with 7.8 remaining. But the Rangers are not quitting. Oh, uh, good thing Ogletree committed the foul. He can stay out there. That is his fourth, though. Akai ready. Visualizes the first free throw. Shoots one with an empty hand. Now, for real, makes it. 60-54, to 54, it's still a two-possession game. If he hits this one, yeah, I, I think it would have to be a major miracle. I think it's kind of funny when announcers say, it's going to take a minor miracle. Well, if he makes this second free throw and it's a seven-point game with 7.8 to go, it would take a major miracle. Akai hits them both. The lead is seven. Olajuwon rolls it in. Matthews watching the ball roll. Now picking it up. He's going to spin. He's going to put one up. And it's off the glass. No good. Rebound Miller. And that will do it. Congratulations to the Atascacita Eagles. They are the better team tonight, and they win 61 to 54. What a marvelous playoff run it's been, however, for the Clements Rangers. And the Atascacita student body is dutifully following the instructions to stay off the floor because they've got bigger fish to fry. They've got a regional final tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. when they take on Shadow Creek. You see what I did there? I actually did it accidentally. Bigger fish to fry. It's the Shadow Creek Sharks that they'll be taking on. Anyway, we'll be back to wrap this one up. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortMen.com, and we'll tell you about which baseball games you can listen to tomorrow. We'll be right back. My Friday nights usually spent out. But since my friends got Xfinity Internet, Friday nights in are where it's at. Because Xfinity has Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power a house full of connected devices all at once. We got our show streaming, playlists bumping, and games galore. That's gig speed Wi-Fi for every great night in. Can your internet do that? Come on, y'all. The coasters aren't just for decoration. Now through March 7th, ask how to get a special offer of $200 back when you get GigSpeed Internet. Or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New Connect 50 megabits per second internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and x gateway. Actual speeds vary. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411.
First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know, take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. For the second straight year, the Atascacita Eagles will go to the Region 3-6A Boys Basketball Final. They'll take on Shadow Creek, and they'll try to get back to San Antonio. Well, for VipeFortBend.com and all our games involving the Fort Bend teams, as well as a little bit of Foster and a little bit of Fulcher, well, it's been thrilling. We've enjoyed bringing it to you, and we've had a lot of excitement, and congratulations to Clements, even in defeat tonight, losing 61-54. to They just had a thrilling postseason run. They tied for, for second place in District 26A with a record of 9-5, and but I guess because of a tiebreaker, they were basically the fourth seed, so they fought they, their way into these regional semifinals against Atascacita, and their problem was something that they were, able, they were able to hide along the way, that being just not having a very long bench. Game after game, they play only six players, and they had gotten some foul trouble against Maid Creek on Tuesday night, but survived it. But tonight, the fouls really mounted up, and Atascacita took advantage. They were great from the free throw line. In fact, Atascacita for the game was 29 out of 38 from the free throw line. And other than that, they didn't shoot that well from the field. Four from for 19 from three-point land and 14 for 39 total field goal attempts. But they get the victory by 61 to 54 and their leading point scorer. Let's see here. This is a great uh, stat sheet, by the way. I mean, it's totally awesome. And I want to thank Chase Perisher. He's the man. 14 points for... Connor Miller. Yeah, Connor Miller. 14 points and oh I'm sorry, Angel Johnson. I overlooked him. He was the leading scorer for the Eagles with 17 points in 24 minutes. So for Clements, they were looking good after one half, but in the third quarter, they fell behind and just did not catch up. And the leading scorer for your Clements Rangers, Bryce Matthews with 20 points. He was 8 for 10 from the free throw line and 4 for 10 shooting, including, including 4 out of 7 from behind the three-point arc. 14 points for Divine Ugo Chukwu before he fouled out, and Abdullah Alajawan, 13 points. And he played all 32 minutes. He did manage to stay on the floor, but he did play a long time with four fouls. So I want to congratulate Coach Hemsey Price and also his assistant coaches, Hogan Daughters, 
Jason Thompson and Dante Alexander. And something that we often do just to honor all the seniors, there's the suddenness that you always have when you get eliminated from the playoffs, and it doesn't matter even if you're good enough to move on to the next level. It still hurts to see those guys walk off for the last time, and usually the tears come. The seniors for Clements, Jojo Perwoko, Shan Ponjuani, C.J. Ogletree, Jaden Campbell, Abdul Olajuwon, and Zach Mandeville. So we really enjoyed everything that those guys did when we were watching them play basketball, and they, they bled, they sweated, they put forth so much effort and invested so much. So thank you, boys, for what you did for Clements basketball. It's been a great year at Clements with a great football season, seven regular season wins and a playoff berth, and the basketball team was the last team out of Fort Bend ISD that was still standing. Although I, I guess I must say for the sake of accuracy, the Dulles Lady Vikings also made it to a regional semifinal before they finally lost. Okay, so we got baseball tomorrow. 10 a.m. first pitch, the Austin Bulldogs taking on Morton Ranch. And then at 3 o'clock, it's the Ridgepoint Panthers against the Pato Panthers. That game played on the neutral field at Fulcher. So 10 o'clock, Austin against Morton Ranch baseball, and then 3 o'clock baseball, Ridgepoint against Pato coming to you from Fulcher on your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports, vipefortbend.com. If you're listening live right now, we need to really thank you because who would still be listening at this point? But if you want to listen to the podcast, you always can. It's always free on vipefortbend.com. For Merle Bertrand, for Suna Venkat, for Les Clary, Bob McKay, Patrick Kinnick, the entire vipefortbend.com team, good night from the Berry Center. Our final score at Tascacita 61 and your Clements Rangers 54. Good night, everybody. Baseball starts tomorrow.